going to talk about how to handle mouse events and how we can use mouse events to um, use as user input into our into our programs. And this probably mostly applies to the Reversi or Othello project. So uh, you can see right now we've got our main window, and I've changed the title of that window to Reversi for our game. And we've created a canvas uh, with 600 by 300. Now you probably would have different dimensions here. The Reversi board is square, so you might have a square board. Let's, let's actually do that. We'll make it 600 by 600. How's that? And then we have our pack, right? And then our main loop. So if we run this right now, it'll just bring up a window 600 by 600 um, canvas and uh, do nothing, right? But we want to be able to respond to mouse events. And so the way that we do that is we're going to um, write a handler for that event, right? And so just like we do for key events, we write a function. So I'm going to use my def keyword and I'm going to title this function handle mouse click. It doesn't have to be named this, you can name it whatever you like, but Handle is a good thing to start with, so you realize, um, so that anyone looking at your code realizes that you're handling an event. This you do have to have. You have to have as a parameter an event. Now you can, uh, you don't have to name it event, but event is the standard sort of name there for that that parameter. You can name whatever you like, but you have to have a parameter for your uh, event handler function. So I'm going to say handle mouse click with my event parameter, and just to uh, you know, just as an example, this obviously wouldn't be what you would do with your event, but I'm going to, anytime I see a mouse click, I'm going to print the message, um, mouse button was pressed, and I want to know where it was pressed. So where on the screen was my mouse button pressed? So I'm going to say the mouse button was pressed, and then comma, and here is how you get the location of the mouse press, where this event happened. We say event dot x. So our event object, a mouse event, has a um, an attribute or uh, an attribute, I guess, called x. That is the x location of that event, right? So I can say event dot x, comma, um, event dot y, and that will give to me the coordinates of where that mouse was pressed. Okay. So I've written my function, very simple handler function. Now we need to bind that function to the act of pressing the mouse button. And so in order to do that, we're going to come down here and we're going to bind that to the canvas. And in order to do that, we say c.bind. And bind means attach a function to an event. Now the name of the event that we want in this case is angle bracket capital B button dash one. So this is button one on the mouse. We're going to bind that event to the function we just wrote, handle mouse click. Now when we bind it to that function, we don't, we're don't we not calling the function, so we don't have any parentheses or a parameter list for that function. We just have the name of that function and we end it there. Okay. And then we call our main loop, and that's basically it. So if we run this function now, I'll save this. If we run it, we'll get a window pop up here. So here's my reverse window. And uh, just so you can see it, here's my Python uh, window my shell window, if I click in the reverse window, I see that the mouse button was pressed at 87 and 93. If I click again multiple times, you can see it's always giving me the coordinates of that mouse button press. So I'll try to do this somewhere where we can see it. So somewhere in the middle, right? I, towards the middle, I'd expect this to be around 300, 300. So I'm in the middle, and if I click that, 311, 277. Not bad, pretty close, right? Okay, down here I'd expect the Y to be a high value and the X to be a low value, 32, 569, right? Here I'd expect them both to be high values. Here I'd expect the X value to be um, high and the Y value to be low, and that's what happens, right? And then, etc. So there you go. So we've connected uh, our mouse button event to a, to a function that we wrote, and then you can use that in your game as well to... Uh, have the players move and place their pieces.